Okay, good morning and happy new year, everyone. Um, come to a comfortable seat on your mat. Some of you were with me on a Sunday and on Sunday we did a little mini retreat and kind of looked at um, the things that we were grateful for that happened in the year and some things that we were ready to release and what we want to manifest in the coming year. So take a moment on your mat, let your palms turn up to the sky and close your eyes and on your exhales, first just let yourself soften from the forehead down. Just imagine your brow relaxing and your jaw softening and the shoulders rolling down your back. Let your belly relax on the next exhale and your sit bones get heavy. Let your legs and arms just soften for a few moments. And on your inhales, with your palms up, close your hands. And as you inhale, think about a few things that you are grateful for that happened in this past year. And just draw the hands up, gentle fists, and imagine drawing that energy up the arms into your heart center. And they could be very small things that maybe you just got to spend a little more time with a certain person, or maybe you got a little more time to yourself this year. They could be really big things. And just acknowledge those and notice as you think of being grateful, how that just brings a little bit of light and a little bit of, or lightness to your body, to your mind. And it's important to acknowledge that 2020 was a year of a lot of stress. <laughs> and so on your exhales now, open your hand and anything that comes to mind, just release it, let it go. And just flow with your breath so that you're inhaling, closing the hands gently, reminder to hold on to those things you're grateful for. And on your exhales, open the hands, just release anything. And they can be very specific or can just be in general terms. Take three more breaths that way, just releasing, letting go of those tensions or stressors from the air. And at the end of that third breath, just leave your palms open and think of one thing that you want to invite more of into your life in the coming year. And just breathe here with your palms open, allowing that to come to you, knowing that blessings are out there coming your way and just to be open in your mind, body, and your spirit for them. And then inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the chin in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck in. Let the breath be nice and full. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck in. One more time, lifting up, stretch the front of the throat by closing the jaw. Exhale, tuck in. And then as you inhale, roll your head to the left, come back through and then forward. So just following your breath, circling your head around gently early in the morning. So be gentle with it. Don't try to overextend it. And as you come forward this time, circle it back. and reverse the direction. And then come up to center, bring your arms out to your sides. And then inhale, reach up, spread the arms wide, exhale, lower them down. Inhale, reach up, nice big breaths. Exhale. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, twist to the right. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale and reach. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. And then come to standing on your mat. As you come up to standing, just have your feet hip distance apart and parallel. And just find that even place, kind of rock back and forth a little on your feet from the heels to the toes. Make sure you're balanced side to side. Take two fingers, find the ends of your um, collarbones and drop down one inch in between that, that little hollow in between your collarbone and that next rib and do some tapping here. You decide how firm, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Stimulating the K27 point, which is the end point of the kidney meridian, which helps to stimulate all the meridians in the body, getting all the energy waking up this morning. At the end of that next exhale, shake out the hands and bring one hand on the sternum. Tapping here, same breath in the nose, out the mouth, stimulating thymus, helping to stimulate our immune system, getting our T cells building. Nice, big, full breath. Really let the rib cage expand. Big exhale. Shake out the hands. Bring them to the sides of the ribs, tapping on the spleen points here, helping us to assimilate all the things, the physical and the emotional that come through our body and our mind, helping us process all of that. And then tap all around the rib cage here. Nice, big breaths doing our energy medicine yoga wake up. Shake out the hands, two fingers under the eyes, on the cheekbones, tapping here, stomach point, helping us to feel grounded and more stable. Really feel your feet ground into the mat. Nice big breaths, you decide how firm to tap this point, maybe a little more tender than others. And then shake out the hands and just pause for a moment. And then tap the same knee, marching as the hand, keeping with the same breath in the nose, out the mouth, and then brush it off and now cross it over, marching, crossing over to the opposite knee, getting that energy, crossing over, moving forward, getting the different meridians of our, our sides of our hemispheres of our brain talking to each other. And then shake it out, bring the hands in front of the pubic bone, stand up tall, ground your feet, come back to that intention. What is it you wanna invite more of into your life this year? And then inhale, draw your hands up the body, flip them and exhale, spread it out. Do that two more times here, zipping up that intention and sending it out to the universe, sending it out into your aura having faith that it will come to fruition in its time. Bring one finger on the belly button, one on the third eye, gently press in and slightly up. Three nice big breaths here, exhale out the mouth. When you finish that third exhale, release the hands, just pause for a moment. Notice any energy shifts and any tingling sensations or anything in the body. And then bend the knees slightly and just come into a little swing here. Letting the arms wrap right around the body. Gently tone the belly here to protect the low back. And you can speed it up if that feels good to speed it up this morning. A little bit more. And then come to center. Take a nice big inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, release. Take another big inhale. Exhale and release. Inhale, draw the arms up overhead. Clasp the hands, point the index fingers. Roll down the shoulders, down your back. Exhale, reach over to the left side. Take a big breath into that right side body. Inhale, come up and exhale over to the right. Take a big breath into the left side body. Inhale up, 
Exhale, fold forward, weave your hands down. And then inhale, come up to a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step the right leg back into a lunge and lower the knee onto the mat and flatten the foot and back. Tone the belly, inhale, rise up. Exhale, circle the hands back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Inhale, exhale. One more time circling. Inhale up. This time on your exhale, take the left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale up. Exhale, take the right arm back, left arm forward. Arms are coming parallel to the mat. Inhale up. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale up. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale up. On your exhale, bend the elbows, cactus arms, lift your gaze. Nice big breath here. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands on the mat, tuck the back toe, step back to downward dog. Ground down your hands, draw the shoulders down your back, let the neck relax. Take a big breath here, really lengthen the tailbone up to the sky. Feel free to have some bend in the knees. Breathe in here in your downward dog. On the next inhale, come forward to a plank. Pause here, draw the shoulders down your back, tone the navel to the spine. Reach through the heels. On the next exhale, lower down to the mat. Draw the elbows back, tone the belly. Inhale, rise up to little baby cobra here. Raise your cheekbones, smile. Nice big breath into the heart center. And then tuck the toes, lift the hips high, downward dog. Another full breath here. Maybe lengthen the legs a little more in the downward dog as you really reach the sit bones high. And then inhale, lift the right leg straight behind you. Exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, the left leg forward, ground down the feet, lift your head, come towards the mat. Inhale, flat back and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, trace up spleen, bring your hands to the inside, your fingers to the inside of the big toes, draw them along the foot to the ankle bone, up the inner aspect of the leg to the hip point, up over the armpit to that spleen point again. Nice release. Inhale, arms up. Collapse the hands, point the index finger, shoulders down your back. And exhale over to the right side. Take a big breath into the left side body. Inhale up, exhale over to the left side. Nice big breath into the right side body. Inhale up, exhale, fourfold, weave the hands. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Step the left leg back into a lunge, lower the knee onto the mat, flatten the foot, tone the belly, rise up here. Reaching up, exhale, circle the hands back. Inhale up, exhale, circle. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take the right arm back behind you. Inhale up, exhale, take the left arm back. Inhale up. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale up, exhale, left arm back. Inhale up, exhale, cactus arms, draw them back, tone the belly, lift the heart center, nice full breath, raise your cheekbones, smile. You're taking time to take care of yourself this morning. Reach up on the next inhale, exhale, hands on the mat, tuck the back toe, step back to downward dog. Ground your hands, draw the shoulders down your back, lengthen through the sit bones. Take a couple breaths here, maybe lengthen the legs a little bit. And then inhale forward to a plank, top of a push up. Hold here for a full round of breath, reach from the heels through the crown of the head. And then exhale, lower down the back. Feel free to lower knees first. And then inhale, baby cobra. Reach through the sternum, leading there, nice long neck. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg straight behind you. Exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, the right leg forward, ground down the feet. Let the head come towards the mat. Inhale, full lap back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, trace up spleen, hands to the inner foot, up to the ankle bone, up the legs, up over the armpits to that spleen. 
Take a look down at the feet, have them hip distance apart and parallel. Inhale up, exhale, sit back to Utkatasana. Draw the belly in so you lengthen the low back, have the knees right over the feet. You can see the toes in front of the knees. The weight's gonna feel more in the back of the heels, but your toes are grounded on the mat. Breathe in here, feel your strength build. Inhale, lift the hips a little. On your exhale, see if you can settle them back a little bit. So it's like you're sitting back in the chair. You're only moving the hips just a few inches. Flow with the breath. So your inhale reaching up. And then just hold here with the arms out, coming into that Utkatasana. Draw the belly in. On your inhale, bring the elbows back. Breathe into the heart center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, draw them back. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring that energy into the heart center, setting that intention. Inhale, exhale. One more. Exhale here. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the right leg back into a lunge. Ground the feet, draw them together. Inhale, rise up. And make sure your knee is right over the ankle. You're on the ball of the foot and back. Draw the feet together. Exhale, circle the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, reaching. Inhale. One more time. Inhale up. On your exhale, left arm back. Inhale. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, exhale, right arm back. Inhale up, on your exhale, tone the belly, bring the elbows back, lift your gaze. Think of lifting the heart center up, nice big breath. Inhale, raise the arms, exhale, open up into your warrior two. Adjust your alignment, get the knee right over the ankle, make sure you can see that big toe to the inside of the knee. Look out over the fingertips and feel your strength and power and come back to that intention that you want to set or that what you want to manifest and invite more of into your life and feel your strength to make that happen. And then flick your fingers from your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, flick all the fingers. And then on your exhale, take your right hand on your thigh, lift your left hand, roll the shoulders down your back, take a few nice big breaths here. Inhale, bring the arms back to parallel, straighten the front leg, turn the knee towards the toes, let the hips shift back, reach forward, keeping the torso in the same plane as the body, lower the hand down onto the shin of the ankle or block, reach up with the right hand in your triangle here, stretch through the fingertips, draw the belly and lengthen through the crown of the head, breathe in here. And then bend the knee and you can bring your forearm onto the thigh or you can bring your hand down to the floor. Reach long through that right side. Stack the shoulders, reaching here, grounding down that back foot. And then pinwheel your hands onto either side of your front foot. Step back to your downward dog. Bend the knees a little bit here. Really lengthen through the sit bones and grounding the hands down, and then come into a strong downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg straight behind you. On your exhale, shift the shoulders forward, bring your knee to the outer elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, tone the belly, cross it over to the other elbow. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, bring the knee to the outer elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, cross over one more time. Inhale back. Now you have a choice. You can either keep your leg up or you can put that foot down as you shift your shoulders forward to a plank. Tone the belly. Exhale, lower to the mat. If your foot's up, lower it down. Point the toes. Inhale, cobra. Your choice on how high you come. Full breath here. And then exhale, tuck the toes, hip side down. We're done. Inhale, lift the right leg straight behind you. Exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale, the left leg forward, ground down your feet, let your head come towards the mat. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, forward fold. Bring the hands to the inside of the toes. Trace up spleen on the inhale, drawing them up. Exhale, release them down. Take a look at your feet, hip distance apart and parallel. And inhale up. Exhale, sit back to Utkatasana, draw the belly in. And let's come back to that. We lower down a little. Inhale, rise. So just go as far as works for your knees. And then inhale, hold the arms up, settle into a place that feels comfortable for you to hold in the Utkatasana, tone the belly, inhale, draw the arms back, exhale, forward. inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, all the way up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slap back and lengthen. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, step the left leg back into a lunge. Draw the feet together, ground them down, tone the belly, rise up. Find your alignment where the knee is over the ankle. You're reaching through that back heel, you're toning the belly. Exhale, circle the hands back. Reach them up on the inhale. Inhale up, exhale, open up into your warrior two. Check your alignment of your arch and your heel and your knee over the ankle. Ground down and draw the feet together and then lengthen up through the crown of the head. Let the shoulders come down your back. Feel your strength and power here. And then flick your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, flick all the fingers. And then exhale, take the left hand on the thigh, raise up the right hand, roll the shoulders down your back, opening through the collarbones. Nice few breaths here. And then inhale, arms to parallel, straighten the front leg, turn the knee so it faces the toes, let the hips shift back. Reach forward again, keeping the torso in the same plane as the legs. Bring your right hand down onto the shin or the ankle or the floor. Reach up with the top arm. See if you can turn your gaze up to that thumb. See that the hand is right over the shoulder. Breathing here. Now bend the knee, feel free to bring the forearm onto the thigh, or you can keep the hand on the floor or a block. Reach long with the left side, ground down that left foot into the mat, stretch the fingertips long, take a nice big breath here. And then exhale, bring the hand down to the mat, step back to downward dog. Set yourself up strong in your dog, but first bend your knees a little, give a little, almost a bounce, but not really just to Lengthen the low back, round the hands, relax the neck, and then raise the left leg straight behind you on your exhale. Shift the shoulders forward, bring the knee to the outer elbow. Inhale back, exhale, cross it over. Inhale it back, exhale, knee to the elbow. Inhale it back, exhale, cross it over. Inhale it back. And then either lower that foot down or keep the foot raised and shift the shoulders forward to a plank. And then exhale, lower to the mat, however feels best for you. Point the toes, draw the elbows back. Inhale, baby cobra, cobra or up dog, your choice. Take a big breath here. And then tuck the toes, push the hips back into downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg straight behind you. Exhale, drop forward to a lunge. Inhale the right leg forward, ground down the feet, let the head come towards the mat, hands to the big toes, inhale, draw them up. Exhale, lower them down. And then inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands onto the mat in front of you and lift up the heels and backs, you're kind of coming into a squat. And take one arm, wrap it around your knees. It's called blowing out the candle, transforming fear into courage. So anything that you've been fearful of this past year, if any of those things came up that you're letting go of, just bring that to mind. On your inhale, you're gonna tuck your chin. On the exhale, use the WHO sound like you're blowing out a candle. Inhale, tuck in. Exhale, blow out. Inhale, tuck in. Exhale, blow it out, release it. 
Nice. Hands on the mat, lengthen up the legs, let the heels come down, come into a forward fold, feel free to bend the knees as much as you need to, gently nod the head a little bit, maybe shake it, no. Take a few breaths here, let the spine really lengthen. And then bend the right knee and stretch out the left leg to feel a nice outer hip stretch here. And then switch and bend the left knee, straighten out the right leg so that you have a nice stretch in that outer right leg. Nice breath here. And then come to center. If it feels good for you, you can take the hands behind the back and clasp them, or you can use a towel or something to hold the hands. Let the hands come away from the bottom. Again, feel free to have as much bend in the knee as you need. Then take the clasped hands to your low back and circle the low back like you are rubbing a baby's back. And then spread the hands wide on your back, raise your chest. And then draw the hands around to the hip points, the creases in front here. Slip the hands a few times. And then inhale, draw the hands up the body, cup them around the mouth, three audible exhales like you're fogging a window. Feel that energy ground you down. One more breath. Trace the hands over the ears to the heart center. Just take one full breath here. And then gently lower yourself down onto your mat and bend your knees. Take your right ankle over the left knee. And the, the left knee can be out as far as feels comfortable. If your hips are really stiff, maybe you even want that leg straight or you can draw it in as much as you like. Take the hands behind you. Tone the belly, lengthen up through the spine, moving your chest towards that shin. Keep the right toes flexed, the foot flexed. See if you can push the knee away from you here a little bit. Breathing into it. Opening up the hip, try to soften everything around the outer hip here. We hold a lot of tension in our hips and so, um, and negativity. So it's good when we're trying to release things that no longer serve us to do some hip openness. Then you have two choices. You can either stretch out the leg and take your foot across the body. Or if it feels comfortable, you can tuck that left heel over to your right sit bone and then lower the foot here onto the mat. Whichever you can do, keeping the hips relatively level. Hold on to the knee, inhale tall, exhale, turn towards the bent knee, take the right hand behind you, place it on the mat and lengthen up through the crown of your head. And then exhale, just see if there's a little more depth you can create in the twist without causing any discomfort. Breathe here, hugging the knee into the chest or to the belly. Exhale and release. Come back to center, opening up the legs. Take the left ankle over the right knee. And again, you can draw that foot in or out as what much as feels good. Bring the hands behind the back. Flex the left foot and lift up through the spine. Tone the belly, roll the shoulders down your back. And then try to soften where you're feeling any tension here. And do it by softening your face. Soften your throat, soften the jaw. Breathing into it. You decide it feels best to just breathe in and out the nose or in the nose, out the mouth. And then again, release that and you have the choice to lengthen the leg and plant the foot here, holding onto it, or you can tuck that heel back by the left hip. Then hold onto the knee, whichever pose you're in. Exhale, turn towards the bent knee, take the left hand behind you. Use that left hand to lengthen you up. And then exhale, gently twist into the pose. Try to draw, draw the right shoulder down your back too instead of it letting it round forward. Inhale, come back to center. Release that. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale up, straighten the legs out, flex the toes, inhale tall, exhale, hinge forward. Draw the feet back, whether you can touch them or not, actively pull the toes back towards the shins, lengthen through the crown of your head. Breathing here, you can stay tall or if it's okay on the low back, feel free to fold forward, bowing the head. Inhale and come up, wrap the arms around the body, ground down the heels, tone the belly, slowly, slowly, slowly roll back. Try to keep the feet on the floor as you go. And then reach long. And then hug your knees into your chest, rock yourself back and forth a few times. Lower the feet onto the mat, bring the arms out to the sides. Inhale, lengthen the spine, you're bending the knees, feet are hip distance apart. Let the knees fold over to the right on the exhale. Inhale, draw them up through center, exhale over to the left. Inhale up, exhale over to the right. Inhale up over to the left. Come to center, hug the knees into the chest again, rock yourself side to side, and then release your legs long on the mat. Take one hand and bring it onto your forehead, and take one hand and bring it to the base of your skull, yes, at the low. And take a few breaths here. Let your breaths exhale out the mouth. And then release the hold on your head and lower the hands to your mat, palms facing up. Take a moment and gently squeeze the hands and feet, flex the fingers and toes wide, release them. Ground the arms and legs, tone the belly, and then release and relax and adjust however you need to, maybe rock the head. And just let yourself settle into your Shavasana. Allow yourself to get heavy on your mat. And with each inhale, bring to mind that, that whatever it is you want to invite more of into your life. Maybe think of one word or that represents that and just draw that in with each inhale. Let your body settle and soften and relax in the comfort of your mat. Notice if anything is hanging on, holding tight. See if you can allow it to soften. And then slowly allow the breath to lengthen, wiggle the fingers and toes a little. Reach your arms long overhead, stretch the feet, stretch the hands, and then exhale, roll over to the right side, take a breath or two here, and then slowly work your way up to a seated position with your eyes closed. Bring your hands to your heart center in prayer and open up the three middle fingers, keeping your pinkies and thumbs together. And inhale, draw in a big breath, drawing in that intention. And then on your exhale, stretch your arms up to the sky, lift your gaze, spread your fingers and send that intention out. 
Hold your arms here and just breathe. Feel that energy from the universe coming down into your heart center, helping you to have that strength and that power and that belief that you can make that happen. Exhale, hands to heart center. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. I wish you a wonderful day. And if you would like to stay for a few minutes of a short meditation, feel free to stay here um, on your mat. Find a comfortable seat. And if you have to go off for your day, have a wonderful day. If you would like to stay, bring your hands back onto your lap. And close your eyes, let your hands be palms up. And just soften the face and come into that breath where you're gently closing the hands, you're exhaling, releasing whatever it was we taught, you thought of in the beginning that you need to release from 2020. So just flow with the breath, gently closing the palms on the inhale, exhale, open up and just let those things go. Maybe it helps to just kind of list them. And as you open the hands, just soften the body, soften the face and the throat. Soften the shoulders, just releasing. Let the hips soften. With each breath, try to release and let go a little more. Take three more breaths, focusing on the exhale, letting go. And then turn your attention to the inhale and really draw the hands in on the inhale, drawing in some gratitude for all those things that you are grateful for in the past year. And as you open your hands, imagine just being open to more blessings and then inhaling, drawing those blessings in. So really focusing on the inhale, drawing those blessings into your life. And then turn the attention to whatever you want to manifest in this coming year. Draw it in with the hands on the inhales, drawing that energy up the arms. Maybe even pause for a moment at the top of the inhale. And as you're drawing that intention in, Think of the exhale as just sending that intention out to the universe, not releasing it, but just putting it out there to let the universe know that that's what you want to bring in. Do three more breaths here. And at the end of that third breath, bring your hands to your heart center. Gently bow the chin and raise your cheekbones and give yourself a little gratitude for taking a few moments to take care of yourself. 
and set your intention firmly into your heart. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for practicing today.